So here she is. So if you're new to my channel, go and check out my other videos in the past. Me shooting this, but you'll see me shooting it today. But if you're in the market for one of these, or if you just like playing around in the woods, if you've got your own woodland or whatever, it's a it's a lovely piece of kit. This model is a a Scalibur 355 Micro. That's 260 pound draw weight and it shoots an arrow at 355 feet a second. So you won't want to be on a receiving end of of one of them arrows with a broadhead on. <laughs> so this thing will pretty much stop anything. And it's so small. But I love it in the in the real tree effect it looks really good. But there's nothing to nothing to go wrong with it. No uh, pulleys or complicated systems. It's all nice and basic. But this is what I love about it. It packs away so easy, and then it goes together really easy. That bolts onto there like that. But if you're in the market for one of these, they're awesome. And it's a, you know, it's a micro. The micro series is quite old now. They, they've got some new ones out. They've got a new one with a ratchet system because this is quite hard to cock. If you think you're pulling? That's a 360-pound draw weight on that, on that uh, string. So that's a fair fair pull to cock that. So that's the limbs on. But it's a lovely looking crossbow in it. Look at that. And if you're into your hunting it's pretty much deadly silent. You get all silencers for it and bipods and everything for these and a carry strap so you can really go into it. This could be your main hobby really. But as I've got so many, I tend to, you know, spread things, spread things across all my hobbies. So I'll just bolt these on the bolts. She is all set up, so it doesn't take long. And it's ever so light, look. So here comes the fun part, shooting it. But if you're not very strong backed, and you're looking for a crossbow, remember, the more powerful they are, the harder they are to cock. So you think this crossbow's got 260 pound draw weight, so you're pulling a lot of pressure up to cock this. Make sure you've got your foot in a, in a good hold as well. Got to be crocs on as well, so. So you can see how them limbs have gone back. So there's a lot of pressure on that. And the beauty of these crossbows as well, they've got dry fire. So you can never 
shoot it without a bolt in it. So safety's on. Take out a bolt. So that's in. That's loaded now. And it's so comfortable to hold as well. It's so light. An amazing scope on it. But I'm thinking about getting a bipod as well, so I can actually lay on the ground. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh, you, get a, you get a bit of a bus shoot in that. Gets the old heart going, that does. Beautiful. Let's put another one in. Good workout as well. Don't bother with the gym. Just get yourself one of these. What a tool. That is such a buzz. Let's go and have a look at what we eat. So I haven't used that for whew, six months, seven months. Let's see how we're shooting. That's not bad for not shooting that for six months. So accurate. Straight out of the box. Not used it for six, seven months. That's probably about 100 foot, 110 foot from where I'm shooting and look at that and this, these are just standard heads, field heads, imagine putting a broad head on there and this bag's packed out as well with clothes so awesome if you're in the market for one of these crossbows Definitely have a look at um, Escalibur. They they got some beautiful crossbows, and like I said, there's no components to go wrong, so you can go ambling through the woods. Don't have to worry about all the all the pulley systems, hitting them up against trees and that. And the limbs on there are so strong. So I'm gonna have a few more shots. Look at that shaking. It's so exciting. It's a, it's a totally different concept to archery and, and shooting my air rifle. But don't forget these bolts are travelling at 355 feet a second and pretty much completely silent as well. Unless you put all the mods on the crossbow so you can do some, some great hunting. Obviously I don't hunt, I just like shooting at targets. But to actually hunt with one of these must be uh, must be an awesome experience. So I'm gonna go back and have a few more shots, get a bit more accurate, see if I can get a nice group in. I tend to only fire a couple because it's so accurate you tend to shatter each bolt, so I tend to just shoot two at a time. Because they're uh, you know these aren't that cheap and they, they do sh they're carbon so if they hit each other they do they do shatter. I've missed my target before and it's glanced and and hit a branch and there's so much power in these and hitting something of that hard impact they just uh, they just crumble really well not crumble but they just shatter 
So I might have a couple couple more shots and then I might re, uh, reset my sights. My sights might be slightly out, but I'm still pretty happy with that. But ah, oh, great fun. What a way to spend the morning. Uh, getting serious now. Jumper's off and I've got my matching top on. So you can't see me now, can you? Or the crossbow. So accuracy's, accuracy's getting better. I just tune up the, the scope a little bit. And uh, we're hitting good. So that's with a bit of a tune up. Dusted down the lenses. Lenses were a bit dusty. And getting used to the tool again and bang, that's that's three hour arrows on the money pretty much. It's so deadly, unbelievable. So chuff with that. I might have to put a bit more padding around the centre target now. It just shows you in life. A little bit more confidence in getting used to something and a little bit more attention to detail and your results can excel so I just you just learn that from shooting something like a crossbow a little bit more attention to detail and a little bit more confident with the tool I haven't used it for six months so you're a little bit but after shooting it for an hour now off and on you know, all your skills come back. That's the thing with all, with outdoor, all these outdoor pursuits. Once you get into it, you just got to keep doing it. Otherwise, you lose you lose the skill and you lose your confidence. Definitely a lot of fun. Any any shooting, any form of shooting. That's why I like doing this up, up the up the woodland. It's just great fun. I, I get a buzz, different kind of buzz shooting this then I do my air rifle but great buzz and I have to get back on that catapult as well I started getting reasonably good on that but that's that's another art and uh, eventually I'd like to have a go at the throwing axes that's something uh, for the future but definitely this if, if you know you're interested in a crossbow awesome 